Hello and welcome. Do you feel like you've been under an attack at some point in your life? Well, maybe it's the enemy, the devil, trying to keep you from God's promises for you. Stick around and listen to this entire prayer and what I have to share afterwards. Welcome, by the way. Welcome to the prayer closet. I'm called to pray. And so when I'm done praying, all you've got to do is drop an emoji, a prayer emoji or type amen so I can pray for you throughout the day. By the way, I want to thank you for joining me. And if you're not connected, it's one of our sisters or brothers who are here. Join us by becoming a subscriber so I can pray for you regularly. We are in week 32 of the year and it's called fight week. The enemy's not going to just let us live the abundant life. He's not going to just roll over and let us have the promises of God. We've got to fight. And that's what this week is all about. Finally, our meditation verse for this week is Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And so we want to know and walk out this promise every day. Come into agreement with me by typing amen, hitting the thumbs up button, and please stick around. I'm going to tell you as we close out fight week, um, the inspiration for this particular prayer that I believe will greatly encourage you. Let's pray. Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you for this glorious day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you sent your son to die for our sins, to die for our shame. Thank you that you overcame the enemy. Thank you that you've already promised us an abundant life. It doesn't mean that our life won't have challenges. It just means that we win because you won. And so we take a stand right now to fight, to fight for your promises, to fight for your goodness, to fight for what's best for us and our families. We know that the devil doesn't want us to walk in our promised land. We know the devil does not want us to live out our purpose in life. We know the devil doesn't want our kids and grandchildren serving you. But your word says, my children are a blessing of the Lord. Your word says, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Your word says that our children are a heritage of the Lord. And so we are claiming that promise today. Father, your word says that you came to give us life in abundance to the full until it overflows. And so we are claiming that promise. Your word says that you would supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory through and by Christ Jesus. And so we are claiming that right now. We come against all deception all deceit that the enemy has planted in our lives, telling us we cannot be who you called us to be and we cannot have what you promised to give us. And so we fight for your promises today. We fight for healing in our bodies, from the crown of our head to the bottom of our feet. We pray against common ailments like heart disease, high blood pressure. Oh God, we cry out and say, that's not a part of your promise. 
And so the Bible says you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace is upon your shoulders. And by the stripes of Jesus, we're healed. We claim that promise now. The Bible also says in James and the prayer of faith save the sick. And so we're declaring our healing. The Bible also says that thou would keep us in perfect peace. Hallelujah. As long as our minds are stayed on you. And so we claim that promise right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Your word says, beloved, I wish above all things that thou would prosper and be in good health even as thy soul prospers. And we claim that right now in the name of Jesus. Your word also says in John 15, if you abide in me, my words abide in you. Ask what you will and it shall be done. Now we claim that promise in the name of Jesus. We declare that the goodness of God, which leadeth men to repentance. And so we live a life of repentance. We we lead a life of your goodness, Lord. It doesn't mean perfection and it doesn't mean there won't be storms. But the Bible says that when we come out, we'll be like gold. Purify everything in us so that we can walk according to your plans and your promises. Thank you, Father God, that you hear our prayers for our children to serve you. And we declare that they will, they will. And so God, we're not going to go another day, not declaring hold of the promises in your word that you have for us. We will not listen to the devil. We will not be tempted to give up, cave in and quit. We come against the temptation because the Bible says no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He's not going to let us be tempted beyond what we can bear. And so, Father, I thank you right now that we're able to withstand the temptation. Father, the Bible tells us to fret not because of evil men. The Bible tells us that we are assured promotion. The Bible says in Psalm 75, it is you who put down one who lift up another. And so we declare we're being lifted up, God. Now, the Bible also says that if we humble ourselves under your mighty hand, then you will exalt us in due season. Hallelujah. And we claim and declare that that promise is so. Now your word says in Isaiah that the words that I speak will not return void. That as I speak your word, hallelujah, it is going out accomplishing everything that it was intended to accomplish. Glory be to God. It's in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. 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 Now, if you agree with this prayer and you want me to say your name in prayer today, you go ahead and type it to type it below. You type uh, amen or you hit that thumbs up button. I'm excited. I am so grateful that you have joined me this week. I want you to know the promises of God. That's one of the reasons why I um, have scriptures for us every single week. So as you know the promises of God, you can pray the promises of God. Because when the enemy comes in and the enemy says, no, your children will always serve me. And the enemy taunts you and says your kids are never going to serve God. You can say, no, no, no. I'm claiming 
the promises of God for my children. That since my children are my heritage, my children, the word says they will serve God and I'm going to declare it. But if you don't know the word, you can't declare it. Now, one of the reasons why you have to wake up armed and ready for battle, as the word says in Ephesians 6, 10 through 17, the reason that's so, so important, we can look in the book of Exodus chapter 13, and it says the children of Israel, they left Egypt armed and ready for battle. Why were they armed? Because God knew that their enemies would face them. The enemies would be waiting for them, but they were armed and ready to fight. And that's how we have to wake up every single day. Don't wake up thinking about all the problems. Yes, they are there. You wake up meditating, declaring the goodness and the graciousness of God. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And if this blessed you and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and be a part of our family. And let me know below because I want to pray for you and encourage you personally. Y'all have a blessed day. Be sure to connect with me via email, Instagram, TikTok, etc., etc. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless.